everybody, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Master 88 here, and welcome to another deck profile. Uh, been a long time since we have had done an actual deck profile, so this will be a good change um, uh, for tonight. <laughs> Anywho, this is not no ordinary deck profile, though. No, 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 no. Um, this is a evil eye deck but there are certain cards made by um winter moon and king of proxies um i will i will post winter moon's name for um uh, for um credit description below along with um king of proxies um uh, etsy page in the description below um support king of proxies he's an excellent card he's an excellent co uh, co uh, custom card creator nice quality nice content check him out and once again shout out to my friend for uh for uh, my friend uh, my uh, friend winter moon um uh for um uh for him and king of proxies making these customs thank you to you both Anywho, without further ado, let's get started with the custom Evil Eye deck profile, shall we? So, what we're going to do first is the monsters. So, first, you got your free Sarzael. Simple Sarzael. Your free, well, yeah, free Basilisk. Your free catapopus. Your free Medusa. And now for the final card in the monsters, we have a badden, watcher of the evil eye. Look how gorgeous this thing is. Very nice custom. So a badden here. Is a dark level four, eighteen hundred attack, fourteen hundred defense. If this card is normal summon, you can add one of your banished evil eye cards in your uh, 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 to your hand. If this card is equipped with evil eye Selene, quick effect, you can add one evil eye monster from your deck to your hand, except a bat in itself. Then immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one evil eye monster. You're going to use this effect once per turn. And once per turn during the next standby phase after this effect was activated, destroy one monster you control. Very nice custom. Very good effects. Simple to the point. And, and, and this deck runs three of that. Next up, we're going to get into the spells and traps. So... First up, we got your free Evil Eye Selene, Heart and Soul, the deck. The deck can't function without it. Free Evil Eye of Awakening. Yeah, free Evil Eye of free Evil Eye Awakening. Free Evil Eye of Gorgano. Free that one, two, or three. Oh no, just one. One Evil Eye. One. One evil eye domain, uh, Peridonia. And then we have two evil eye repulse. We also have two evil eye reemergence. Two evil eye, evil eye confrontation. And now we get to the and now we get into the only custom in the spell and trap card the spell the spell department. Try to pronounce this name's correctly. This name this card's name correctly. Evil Eye of Arud. Yeah, Evil Eye of Arud, which is what this looks like. Um it's an equip spell. Equipped only to an evil eye monster. You can only activate one evil eye of a rube per turn. This card's name, name comes evil eye of Selene while in the spell and trap card zone. 
While your life points are lower than your opponent's, the affected monster can attack directly. You can banish this card from your graveyard and discard one evil eye card. Add one evil eye monster from your deck to your hand. You only use this effect once per turn. Very simple to the point. Very nice effects. Pretty much gets you what you need. And then this deck runs free. Of Next up, the traps. So we're running here. Two evil eye retribution. Two evil eye mesmerim. Me mesmerim. Two defeat. One zero day blaster. And the only custom in the trap department. Evil Eye Departure. Here's what this does. It's a continuous trap card. If this card is activated, you can return one Evil Eye Link Monster from your field or graveyard to your extra deck. Immediately after this effect resolves, special summon that monster from the extra deck, treat it as a Link Summon. Then equip one Evil Eye Equip spell in your graveyard to it. Once per turn during your opponent's main phase, you can Quick Effect immediately after this effect resolves, Link Summon one Evil Eye Link, uh, link Monster using materials you control. A link, mo a link Monster that was Link Summoned by this card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Also, it cannot be negate. Also, its effects cannot be negated. You can only activate one evil eye of departure per turn. Eye departure per turn. Sorry. Very simple to the point. Very balanced effects. Very good way to get a link summon and any and 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 a good way to equip your link monster to to an evil eye equip. Very nice. And gives that Link Monster good protection from card effects, too. Very nice. All right, that's the main deck itself. Now we get to the extra deck. Now, the extra deck has all, has a good, now most of the customs are in the extra deck, but we're going to start with the ones you already know. First up, there's two Gorgon. Two simple Gorgon. And then two copies of Zarzia. That's pretty much it. Now we're gonna get to the to all these customs. First starting off with Minotaur. Minotaur, Molar of the Evil Eye. Here's what this bad boy does. So he's a link too, as you can see. He's a dark 1900. It requires two Evil Eye monsters to make this. If this card is Link Summon, you can target one Equip spell in your grave, add it to your hand. And if this card was co-linked when this effect was activated, draw one card. If this card is equipped with Evil Eye of Selene, Quick Effect, you can activate this effect. This card can make attacks on monsters up to the number of equipped spells you control, but if this card is co-linked with with Selene, with Selene, creator of the Evil Eye, you can attack directly. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn during the next standby phase after this effect was was activated. Destroy one spell or trap you control. So basically, in layman's terms, this thing can get a lot of attacks in a big hurry. Basically, that's what he does. I mean, he's a minotaur. He just wrecks space, basically. <laughs> so that's minotaur in a nutshell. And also, he can attack directly, too. If he was co-linked with Selene, I would see her in a little bit. 
Next up, Wendigo, devourer of the evil eye. Two evil eye monsters. Another link two. If this card is link summoned, you can target one monster in your grave. Add it to your hand. Then if this card was co-linked, then if this card was co-linked when this effect was activated, draw one card. If this card is equipped with Evil Eye of Selene, quick effect. You can tribute all the monsters you control. During this turn, this card gains 1,000 attack for each tributed monster. Also, if this card was co-linked with Evil Eye with Selene or Evil Eye, this card can make a second attack this turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn during the sting during the next standby phase, after this effect was activated, you banish a card from your hand. So basically. You tribute a whole bunch of monsters, make this thing big, and then if it's co-linked with Selene, with, with, with Selene greater than the evil eye, this thing can attack twice instead of once. So, this thing can be quite dangerous. Next up, Cerberus, familiar of the evil eye. It's a link one. Dark Fiend 800. One non one non link evil eye monster. If this card is link summoned, you can target one evil eye link monster on the field or in your graveyard. Return it to the extra deck. Then, if this card was co linked when this card when this effect was activated, draw one card during your main phase. Yeah, I got it right. During your main phase, if this if this card, wait a minute, I read I I missed a line. Oh, let me reread it again, folks. I apologize. <laughs> if this card is link summoned, you can target one e evil eye link monster on your field or in your graveyard. Return it to the extra deck. Then. If this card was co-linked, uh, was co-linked when this effect was activated, draw one card. During your main phase, if this card is equipped with Evil Eye of Selene, you can normal summon one additional time this turn. Or, if this card is co-linked with Selene Peter the Evil Eye, you can normal summon two two additional times this turn. You can only use this effect of uh, this effect once per turn. Once per turn during the next standby phase, after this effect was activated, your opponent draws one card. Gets you a lot more normal summons. Sure, sure, your opponent gets to draw a card, but the normal summons—that's what matters. That's what. That's what big. That's what matters big time. Next up, there's a there's a whole bunch more to go, so we're gonna be here for a while. The end cybers delation. This is what this scary fellow looks like. He's a link six. Dark, zero attack. There's a reason for that. He requires two or more link monsters with the same attribute. You can only control one, the end cyber deletion. The original attack of this card becomes 1,000 times the combined rank, uh, not, not rank, times the combined link ratings of link materials used for its fusion sub. <laughs> link summon. You can tribute one deletion token until the end of the next turn. This card is unaffected by other cards' effects. 
Once per turn, you can target one other link monster on the field, destroy it. And if you do, special summon one deletion token, Cyber Stark level one, attack zero, defense zero, to your zone, this card points to. Then this card gains this effect. That's pretty much what it does in a nutshell. Token producer and a beat stick. Next up, Calcatrace, Beast of the Evil Eyed. This looks like Ray here. He's, a, he's only got 1,000 attack points and he's a link one. If your evil eye monster or monsters would be destroyed, inflict 300 damage to your opponent. If your evil eye monster or monsters equipped with the evil eye of Selene would be destroyed by an opponent's card effect, quick effect, you can make it so that those monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects this turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn, during the standby phase after this effect was activated to prevent monster or monster's destruction, target them, destroy one equipped card equipped to them, or if you cannot, destroy it instead. Basically provides everybody with, 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 a, with, with a whole bunch of shields that protects them. Simple as that. Next up. Aphorine, Siren of the Evil Eye, 1700 attack, Link 2, two monsters, including an Evil Eye monster, of course. If this card is Link Summoned, you can target one monster with a level on the field. Special Summon one monster from your deck with a level lower than the target. If this card is equipped with, with Evil Eye of Selene, quick effect. You can banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck up to the number of Evil Eye Link monsters you control. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn, during the, the, during the next standby phase after this effect was activated, banish the top card of your deck. So basically, short, simple to the point, this thing's a, this thing can rip your opponent's deck apart. Next up, we have a, we, we have a, we have at least five more here. So we have Morgan, Banshee of the Evil Eye. Fine. So we so another link to eighteen hundred. Two monsters, including an Evil Eye monster. If this card is Link Sub, you can target one Evil Eye Link monster on your field or in your graveyard. Return, return it to the extra deck. Then, during this turn, you can normal summon or set, in addition to your normal summon or set, If this card is equipped with Evil Eye of Selene, quick effect, you can target one card on the field, send one card with that name from its owner's deck or action deck to the graveyard. You only use this effect one. Uh, um, you only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn during the next standby phase after this effect was activated. Send one card from your deck or extra deck to the grave. So basically, so basically, very good card. Next up, a baddest keeper of the evil eye. So, 2800 attack, think free, two or more Evil Eye monsters. While you control this 
each summoned card negate the effects of all cards in your opponent's graveyard. Also, those cards are unaffected by card effects except by evil eye cards. If this card is equipped with Evil Eye of Selene, quick effect, you can target one card in either graveyard, banish it, then negate the effects of cards with that name on the field or in the hand or graveyard till the end of the turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn, during the next standby phase after this effect was activated, negate the effects of one monster this card points to until the end phase. So, so essentially, so essentially, this thing pretty much is a good negation tool. All right, let's save the best for last. Oh. Here's my second copy of a uh, cockatrice. Two of them. There we go. So we're down to two monsters left. Saving the best one for last. So now we have Quaron, Familiar of the Evil Eye. Here's what this guy does he's a Link 1, 1000. One level 3 monster. If this card is Link Summoned using an Evil Eye Monster, you can reveal one Evil Eye card in your hand, add from your deck or graveyard to your hand one Evil Eye card with that same type but different name. If this card is equipped with Evil Eye of Selene, quick effect. You can target one spell or trap on the field, negate its effects until the end of the turn. Or, if it's set, it cannot be activated this turn. You only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn during the, uh, the next standby phase after this effect was activated, negate the effects of one face up spell or trap you control until the end of the turn. So, es so essentially, by revealing an evil eye card, you can pretty much search an evil eye card. Uh, search an evil eye card. And uh, and also, you can pretty much negate a spell or trap as well. Now, the final card of this deck. Selene, creator of the evil eye. Link 4, 3000. The heart and soul of the deck here. Without this, the deck ain't going to function properly. Two or more evil eye monsters. If this card is Link Summon. You control no equip spells. You can add one evil eye equip spell from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Then, if your life points is 3,000 or less, it becomes 4,000. If this card is equipped with evil eye of Selene and your life points is lower than your opponent's quick effect, you gain life points equal to the difference. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn during your standby, during the next standby phase after this effect was activated, destroy one equip spell control. Destroy one equip spell you control and two evil eye monsters. Two or more evil eye monsters. So essentially, so, so, so essentially, the main objective of this thing. Is she's the centerpiece to get all to, to to help all the other links work, and she maintains your life points at all times. So with that being said, people, that is it for um, this custom Evil Eye deck. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and until next time, this is Yu-Gi-Oh Master Eighty Eight saying, "See you later."